For the first time in history, archaeologists have found honey that's thousands of years old and it's still good. How is that possible? Well, honey has some very particular chemistry that makes it extra sticky. In fact, that stickiness is why honey is such a great preservative. See? This is a jar of honey that's 2,000 years old, and this one's 3,000 years old. And archaeologists were able to eat it right off the spoon. They didn't even have to put on bread. Although I would say that if you ate enough of it, it might be a little gritty, but it's still totally good. And here's why. Honey is super sweet, which means it has a really low water activity around 0.6. You can think of water activity as the amount of water available to microbes like bacteria and yeast. The lower the water activity, the less water is available for microbes to use and the less they'll grow. So because honey has so much sugar, all the water is kind of pulled out of it. Microbes can't live in a sugarless world, so they basically just shut down not only that, but honey is naturally acidic with a pH near 3.9. Most bacteria and molds can't handle that much acid, so they die. And bees add an enzyme called glucose oxidase, which breaks down into hydrogen peroxide. When honey is slightly diluted with water, that enzyme is what allows honey to have a really low pH. And that hydrogen peroxide acts like a built-in antiseptic. But even if honey weren't so acidic and didn't have that enzyme, it still lasts forever because it's hygroscopic, meaning it absorbs and traps moisture from the air. If you seal a jar of honey, the trapped moisture can't get in and neither can any microbes. But if you add water to honey or leave it open in humid air, those wild yeasts can come in and ferment it. Finally, sometimes honey crystallizes, but that's not a sign of spoilage. It's just the sugar changing form. Heating it gently will break those crystals and make the honey clear again. So the secret to honey lasting forever is a combo of chemistry and storage, high sugar, low water, acid, and a mild peroxide trick. Now you know. Follow for more.